Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw a riot from the Venom uh, movie, basically. Um, it's going to be simple, easy for beginners. I'm going to be doing just the head of Riot, um, and that's it. So let's get started. Before that, don't forget, hit the uh, subscribe. I'm going to be posting. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this active through the year, but I will only keep it active if you reply and like and, you know, that kind of stuff. I will totally keep it going. It's uh, going to be more of like a spooky drawings channel. Not specifically Halloween, but it'll be spooky Halloween, uh, spooky drawings through the year, and we're gonna post once a day. So, alrighty, let's go over here. And so, Riot, right off the bat, the difference between Riot's head is Riot has kind of like a dog snout more than Venom. So that that would be like the biggest difference. So right here, I'm gonna draw a line down here for the side of Riot's mouth. Curve here curve up for the front of that snout pulling back and back here gonna go over here on the top pulling a teeth teeth downward here Pulling down like that. I'm gonna go underneath here, and I'm gonna throw a the bottom row of teeth here, and they're all still triangular shapes. Pulling downward, kind of find the bottom lip here, and I'm gonna pull up over here on the edge. <laughs> I think he has uh, nostrils here. It's hard to tell, but I'm gonna throw a curved line here over the top. cheekbone the side over here gonna pull downward curve down pointed chin here up and I'm gonna be pulling along the side over here for the side of this jaw and it's gonna go up here out here in Uh, now I'm going to find the top of the head over here. So it's just going to be like a circular shape over here. Top, curve, down, up, curve over here. All right. Whew. Feel pretty good. Let's find his eyes down here. And it's going to be kind of craggly eyes on the way up there over here on this side craggly eyes over here this side craggly eyes over here over here on the bottom same thing craggly right there it looks like a dinosaur really I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pull for this Huge shoulders, or well, they're not really shoulders. There, his it's his neck. Trapezius is huge. Pulling a line here, down here for the those throat muscles there. Curve around here, same thing. Alrighty, curve here, curve here. Line over here line over here 
in over here in it's gonna be like his pectoralis muscles right here he does have a tongue but it's not like super wild I'm gonna put it in there though and I'm gonna fill in a lot of the other parts here there and he does have a craggliness here in the middle of his head I noticed at least for the movie version because I know there's a version of him in the comics he has this kind of like just kind of craggliness everywhere so you can throw these thin lines everywhere around here for like detail it's kind of just thin lines remember make them thin though if they're not thin they're not gonna come off as detail and it will just overwhelm the drawing and break it. So every little nick and cranny like that, you want to do it thin, meaning you put less weight on the marker. And that's pretty much it. I want to thank you very much for watching. You're amazing. Uh, please, if you want to help the channel out, because this is a, usually a seasonal channel, but now we're on the off season. So I'm just, I, but I am going to keep posting. Like I said, share the video. When you share the video, it helps the channel out, and it really kind of, uh, you know, gives me a good idea of what else to post. Give me ideas for spooky drawings, but it doesn't have to be directly Halloween. It can be movie villains. You know, we can always. Kind of stretch it out. I'm very, very, very excited to kind of keep this channel going through the year. This is going to be the first time I'm going to do this. I'm going to post once a day. So let me know and uh, we'll make it happen, okay? Talk to you later.